Okay, so we're checking out the uh, new RCN Power 1002 motors here, and um, they sent me three different KV versions of these 1002 motors. As you can see here, uh, they sent me the purple and teal colored motors. Also, are these are available in orange, I believe. I think these uh, teal and purple slash pink motors definitely look a lot nicer. Um, I decided to put mine on the uh, Nazgul, or the baby Nazgul from iFlight. Uh, this one's the uh, 19,000 kV version. Uh, they also sent along uh, the 22,000 kV version and the 14,000 kV version. Yeah, teal, blue, and pink is actually the name of the color. Uh, I will put, I will have those in a future video and actually I'm gonna ask you for some input on what to put them on. Uh, some possibilities over here, I'll show you those later. But here's what the motor looks like. Uh, as with all RCN power motors, pretty good quality in terms of the materials and the construction and the bearings are very smooth. The motor wire is soldered onto a PCB there on the bottom as you can see. Uh, this is the length of the motor wire with a standard motor plug. Comes from a lot of whip boards so uh, it was just basically a straight uh, swap on this model and uh, while I was at um, doing the swap I might as well swap the board out so I put in the new Blitz board here this one has the um, Express LRS built-in receiver but the board's almost the same dimensions here as the one that was uh, on here uh, stock which is the uh, Free Sky version and so I just swapped it in along with the motors and the props so these had originally came with um, these were the 0802 17,000 kV motors and I'm using the same props but the prop shaft is now a one and a half millimeter prop shaft so on the um, iFlight motor uh, these 0802s came with a one millimeter prop shaft uh, these RCN power motors come with a one and a half millimeter prop shaft so you need the one and a half millimeter uh, prop shaft hole for the same prop. So I'm using the same prop here to kind of keep things um, uh, sort of the same on the testing. This is a Gemfan uh, 1610, the 1.6 inch or 40 millimeter propeller and uh, with the one and a half millimeter prop shaft. So I guess it's important to, to note all the weights here. So I'm going to show you some of the weights. The quad before with everything with the 0802 motors was 25.85 grams. Uh, the 0802 motor with the prop was uh, 2.14 grams, and then the 0802 motor by itself was 1.93 grams. So when I swapped everything out with the new 1002 motor and the new iFlight board, uh, the weight went up to 28.33 grams. The motor and prop by itself um, was 2.78 grams. And the motor by itself, no prop, was two and a half grams. So basically, um, what you're seeing here with the new updated flight controller and motor, uh, the prop went up, or the the weight went up about uh, two and a half grams total. Uh, obviously, the kV increased from 17,000 kV to 19,000 kV. So those are all the differences. Obviously, the camera is the same, um, the frame is the same. It was pretty easy to swap it, and I did have to. Uh, resolder the um, battery plug here. Just use the same one that was on the other board. Just desoldered and soldered it to the new board, and then plugged in the motors and then they screwed right in. And they have the same um, screw hole pattern and screw hole size. I think it's a 1.6. It's an M1.6 screw. They do include the uh, a set of screws for the motor, but I just used the uh, screws that came on the frame for the uh, iFlight motors. So it's, a, it's a, again, it's a straight swap in, really uh, pretty easy to do. Um, now, if you go back and look at the video on the baby Nazgul, I'll link that in the video description, on the 0802 17,000 kV motors and the setup here, using the same battery, uh, 1S450, which just goes into the bottom like so, and this plugs in the back. When I was testing that out, uh, based on two types of flights, I got, um, I think I'm roughly around two and a half minutes to three minutes on aggressive flying on that setup and about five to six minutes on just kind of cruising around like less aggressive flying. 
this uh, 1002 motor is less efficient. So if you're just looking at flight time, uh, you probably want to stick with the 0802 because the flight time went down to right roughly 215 to 230 in terms of the aggressive flying. And then the non-aggressive flying uh, yielded about three and a half minutes of flight time. So maybe like a minute more. Um, again, you know, pretty calm conditions and it wasn't any wind here. And it wasn't flying exactly the same. Uh, I think before the test was in a parking garage. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But the bottom line is this motor here is less efficient um, than the 0802 motor, uh, but it's a bigger motor. So with the wider stator, you're gonna get more responsiveness and a little bit more power because the overall stator volume is larger. So for that little bit of extra weight that you gain, um, this motor, I think, uh, you know, basically if you want it in, in a nutshell, in my opinion, what you're trading flight time for in this situation is a little bit more of a fun factor um, for this motor. It's more responsive and in the lower end of the throttle, so you can make kind of more uh, maneuvers. And if you're doing more flippy floppies, acro, freestyle, that kind of stuff, this motor is definitely going to be better. Uh, power loops, etc. It's just a more responsive motor all around than the OED2 motor. Just uh, you just feel like it's a little bit more locked in. Uh, you have more control all around. Uh, but like I said, you're giving up flight time in exchange for that fun factor. So, you know, it's a trade-off, right? So if you're one of those guys that's more about flight time, that don't really care about, um, you know, uh, doing acro tricks, then I would stick with the OED2 motor. But if you want something a little bit more aggressive, more uh, something with a lot more control, a little bit more power, um, just basically, again, you know, the fun factor is increased here. Now they're saying that the power is, um, increased by 50% over the 0802. Uh, you know, I would say, yeah, it's probably about right. The power is mostly in the, I think in the low end of the throttle, not really in the high end of the throttle. Um, and that's because of the wider stator. You just, that extra power gives you more responsiveness, more control of your flights. So this feels... Even though it's like this, this thing's super tiny, weighs what 28 grams. Um, yeah, it's just it just feels like a much more locked in quad compared to the 0802 setup. Uh, but again, like you're giving up flight time for that en enjoyment factor. So it really kind of depends, you know, you know, if you're okay with a two and a half minute, three minute flight on the 450, just you know, get more batteries and swap batteries more often and and have more fun. Uh, but if you want more flight time, if you want to go. Far, fly farther away, whatever, and then yes, I would stick with the 0802. So that's really the bottom line um, between the two setups. But I I like this motor. This is a good motor. Um, I'm kind of curious what the other KBs are going to feel like. So I have some choices here. Thinking about um, upgrading the, this is the 0802 uh, 20,000 KB motor on this happy model. This is the Mobula 7 1S uh, HD with the HD camera. So I'm thinking to maybe going from 20,000 to 22,000 KB, but I'm going to probably get less flight time for this setup here, but maybe uh, a little bit more control, um, you know, in tight spaces. That's probably what I'm thinking the trade-off might be. I might might go to the, might, might, I might take the 19,000 KBs off of this one and put them on here instead. What do you think would be better? 19,000 on this one or 22,000 on this one? Let me know in the comments. And then the 14,000 is going to be more for a setup. So I'm thinking maybe um, putting it on the Smart 16 here. These have 0803 motors at 11,000 kV on a 2S setup. And then maybe I'll go to the 08, or the 1002 motor on 14,000 kV on a 2S setup. Uh, it looks like you have to solder the motors on this one here. Or um, I have another frame. I, I may actually build another one. So. What do you think of that idea? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but that's going; those are going to be in a future video. I don't know, I'm not sure exactly when. It's going to kind of, kind of, and it's going to be based more on with the kind of input or feedback I get here in the comments on this. I'll show you the two flights I did here on this guy. Um, first, the uh, non-aggressive or the aggressive flight, and then a non-aggressive flight. Um, yeah, you know, actually, I'll just link those in the video description. So. You can click on those, uh, and you can watch them and see what the flight, the flying is like. Um, if you want to click those videos, they'll be down in the video description. So, again, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see for the other two KVs of this motor, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.